But it's raining. Look, I'm trying to do a brilliant puppet show. So what am I supposed to do? You've done this to me twice. You've done this to me too many times. Well, it's different. So, what are you going to do about it? This woman is worse than this Peggy, wouldn't you agree? Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, part of this world is in <laughs> A great puppet show! A lot of times you wonder if you see a puppet in the same shot as the, the puppeteer. There, like I've seen a lot of puppets on uh, terror theater and monster movies. Yeah. I'm not in trouble, but I don't try to hide the fact my voice is, um, uh, uh, the truth of the matter, you know, but these puppets are very interesting to look at, and what you're going to notice is what these characters are doing. Yep, look at that. And it's all cheating, because he's looking at the camera, he's not even looking at what I'm doing, and just now I'll look at him, because we do stuff in the same old. And now it's time for everybody's favorite reunion show, Here Is Your Life. And here's your Here Is Your Life host, Mark Zero. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Yes, and welcome to Here Is Your Life. Tonight we are going to present, to celebrate the life of someone you all know and love, a loaf of bread. Ta-da! Loaf of bread should be here any minute. She thinks we order her because we really want to want to bread for a club sandwich. But we're really, but we are really going to do her life. Hello. Heart, and maybe her now. Come in. Uh, I'm here to deliver a loaf of bread. And wait a minute, isn't this here in your life? Am I on TV? I'm on. Uh... Come please, out, out. Oh. Alright, now here we go. Excuse me, loaf of bread. Yes, how many slices do you want? I don't want any slices. All I want to say is loaf of bread, here is your life! No kidding? I don't believe it. Aren't you hungry? No, I'm not. We brought you here so that we could celebrate your wonderful life. And what a wonderful life it was. Now let's meet some of the, the, the important people and things in your life who, uh, who helped you, help make you uh, the way you are. Listen to this voice. I remember you, Wolf of Bread. You're just a recipe in my cookbook. Oh no, you don't mean... Yes, I do. All the way to the bakery down the street, Betsy the Baker! Okay. Here we are. <clears throat> oh, Betsy, I'm so glad to see you. Hi there, Loaf. I'm so glad to see you, too. Tell us, Betsy. Was, what was Loaf of Bread like way back then? Just see for yourself, boy. He was an adorable little recipe. Oh, yes, indeed, she was. Now, Betsy, stand back as we listen to these voices from Loaf of Bread's past. Oh, I'm going to the spread. Moo! Uh, I ground the wheat into flour. Er. Oh, no. You don't mean... Yes, I do. It's Clover Town Farmer Fuller! Oh, I'm so glad to see you, too. We are doing We are, too. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. Now tell us, how did you make Loaf of Bread the bread she is today? Well, I gave some milk. And I grew it. I brought it along for the dough. But it takes more than that to make a loaf of bread. Uh, do you recognize these voices? <laughs> oh, Hi, Loaf of Bread. Without me, your dough wouldn't rise. You needed me to make the dough also. I don't believe it. You still don't mean. Yes, I do. It's Yolanda Heath and Randy Raincloud. Ta-da! Oh, Yolanda and Randy, I'm so glad to see the both of you. 
We're so happy to see you too. Now tell us, sir, you two, how did you help to make Love of Breath appreciate today? I helped make the dough rise. I made the dough stick together with my water. That's right. I wasn't going to hear after what the girl was in. Isn't that wonderful, audience? Yay! Yes, Wumpa Bread, you were baked by Betsy the Baker, and then you sat on the baker's shelf, and you were happy with all the other bowls of bread, especially when I called Betsy the Baker, <clears throat> hey, and ordered a loaf of bread for this show. So now, instead of being uh, used for sandwiches, you are going to have a great party with all of your friends here in our studio. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad to have all my friends back in my life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Tune in again next time for another exciting episode of Here Is Your Life. This is Mort Zero saying so long for now. All right, cut, cut. Now it's now time for the Emmy Awards. It is an honor for me to be here as the host and hostess of the Emmy Awards. They actually were supposed to be, be reading the rules. Actually, actually, we're supposed to be reading the rules. You are putting me on. They no, I'm not. No, I'm not. not. Boring. No, it's no more stage. Say, come on, we have to go. Come on, we have to go now. No. Well, we're finished. I'm not leaving until we get a close-up. That's it, that's it. Cut him. Cut him. Um, what, am I, what am I supposed to move? The, just try to get him on stage. Try to get her out. Oh. What am I supposed to tell her? Come on, move. Out, out. Move it. We have to move the They just move the fat. Move, move the fat. No, this means war. Mm. All right, good. Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Have you seen Sinsardi? He's a little guy with bushy hair, wearing a black hat. Have you Have you seen him? I don't know what he is. He's a well. He's a okay. He's not a vegetable, and he's not a mineral. So that's two down. He must be an animal. He's furry and kind of, uh, kind of uh, brownish. Not dark brownish, light brownish. You know, uh, kind of tan. Kind of uh, the same color that uh, coffee is. When you leave it uh, sitting in a pot all day with the heat uh, turned off, then uh, heat it up in the microwave and then and put in the milk. It's not a yellowy tan, it's more of grayish tan. But you thought it was beige. Oh my gosh. Gosh, you look like. You surprised me. Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday. Mm. Most people like surprises on their birthdays. Since I mean, I've been looking all over for you. You have to help me instruct my show. You mean that really ridiculous travesty against one of the greatest authors in the English language ever produced? No, I mean my one puppet work in progress. Sonata, Sonata, Sonata in Shakespeare. That's why I said it's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's delightful. It's smashing. It's genius. It's me. It's me. Mark Zero. Uh, inter, interprinting uh, the the uh, unparalleled parallel uh, poetry and the uh, dramatic ex ex excellence of, of uh, William Shakespeare. Uh, tragedy, comedy, suspense, romance, thrills of a lifetime. It's uh, sorry. Now what? Now where did he? Uh, now, where did the, uh, go? Go. I'm right here. Oh, 
my gosh. Both you. You know, you really ought to see a doctor about that cold. Where were you? I was bored, so I decided to go get a snack. Think Saturday! I'm an orange. I didn't even see what was playing your cold right off. You have to help me do my Shakespeare show. Oh. I'm sure it's the flu. No, it could it's be a high grade fever. I'm gonna go it's get it. like you're delirious. I'm gonna go get into a costume. Um, you introduced me, uh, Capiche. Capiche. Bless you. Definitely a bad cold you got there. Uh. I am a preacher of principle. On one hand, if I want him to do the show, he'll make a fool of himself. On the other hand, if I don't want him to do it, make a fool of himself, I'll only ever work. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, bottoms that swallow these and waters, they're entitled to our crowd, Asian and America. We probably present the, uh, the deep point gentlemen is Sonata and Shakespeare. Uh, really, Liberace? Quiet! I'm supposed to look at uh, Elizabeth. Who's a teller, maybe, but she ain't just right as better than you do. <coughs> oh, that is true. Two uh, solid uh, flesh, two solid flesh with a with, uh, melt uh, and uh, resolve itself into a do. A what? A do. A do. A what? A do. A do. God bless you. I told you that cold came out of control. No, no. No, no you, no, you, what a do. But what sticky stuff you find on the grass early in the morning? What, is that a dumb? Uh, I don't pull anything. Those do jokes are older than the, the life jacket on Noah's Ark. Yeah. I like to think of the closet. Can I please continue with my master I don't know, can you? <clears throat> Where was Something about do. Uh, yeah. Uh, thought and resolve itself into a do. Plus you. Stop it! I'm calling you a doctor. <laughs> How weary spells for I'm un un unprofitable seem to, to me all the uses of, of this world. Fie on it. Oh, fie. Tis, a, tis an unweed burden that goes to seed. No, he is. He keeps sneezing and clearing his throat. Shut up, that boy. Says that he pisses you off a bag of call. I am, I am in the middle of my masterpiece. He does. He blushes like grandeur. I thought he was delirious. He must be running a fever. I think I better uh, exam you right away, Clark. I am not sick. <laughs> Open wide and say, say, ah, Clark. I will not do, I will not, I do not have a call. I, ah, hmm, hmm, uh, very interesting. What do you see, doctor? It's sort of red and swollen. Red and swollen? Hmm. Red, red and swollen, definitely a sore throat. Your face now is fat and sweaty. I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Hot and sweaty. Double the beater. I'm fine. It's not me that's uh, got a, a problem. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. Fuck you. It doesn't see anything. Definitely a nasal control um, congestion problem. You say he's in sweaty flying John Paul. I told you, doctor. I'm not sick. I feel fine. In fact, I never felt better. Hey, yo. Daylight gone and me want to go home. Day. He said that, 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 go home. Work all night, gotta drink a room. Is that cool?
Monday me van go home. Stop for a heavy morning come. He that come then me van go home. Come Mr. Tiny Man, tiny me bananas. He that come then me van go home. Come Mr. Tiny Man, tiny me bananas. He that come then me van go home. It's six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. He that come and me want go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. He that come and me want go home. Day, he's a day yo. He that come and me want go home. Day, he's a day, he's a day, he's a day. He that come and me want go home. A beautiful bunch, a ripe banana. He that come and we want go home. Heidi deadly, black tarantula. He that come and we want go home. It's six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. He that come and we want go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. He that come and we want go home. He's a day yo. He that come and we want go home. Day. He's a 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 day.